Have you ever wondered why a leaning tower has managed to stand for 700 years, defying both gravity and time? The Leaning Tower of Pisa, one of the world's most famous architectural wonders, captivates millions of visitors with its unique charm and the mystery surrounding its survival. For seven centuries, the tower has stood resilient on soft, unstable ground, defying scientific predictions and becoming a symbol of extraordinary endurance. But how did a structure that was a technical error from the very beginning manage to survive the harsh trials of nature and human intervention? Could there be secrets hidden in its foundation? Or did the mistakes of the past inadvertently create a miracle? In this video, we will uncover untold truths about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. From the amusing story of its construction on marshy land, the painful failures of ancient engineers, to the groundbreaking advancements in modern science that saved this iconic structure. Stay with us until the end, as the mysteries of this leaning marvel are sure to leave you astonished and in awe. In the 12th century, Pisa was a thriving commercial and naval center in Italy, renowned for its wealth and influence. To assert its prominence, Pisa's ruling class sought to create monumental architectural projects. They redesigned the cathedral square, adding auxiliary structures like a domed baptistery and an independent bell tower. This vision aimed to celebrate their faith while making a powerful statement about Pisa's wealth and development. Construction of the bell tower began in 1173. Initially intended to stand upright as the centerpiece of the square, the tower's architects and engineers, despite their talent, lacked understanding of the area's geological conditions. The name Pisa, derived from Greek, means marshy land, aptly describing the soft ground of clay, silt, and wet sand beneath the city. While the ancient Romans reinforced weak foundations with massive stone piles, the engineers in Pisa believed a foundation about 9.8 feet, or about 3 meters deep, would be sufficient to support the moderately tall tower. Reality soon proved them wrong. Just a few years after construction began, the tower's southern foundation started sinking, causing the entire structure to lean. This engineering flaw posed a serious challenge. Adding more levels would increase the load and exacerbate the tilt, risking a complete collapse. By the time construction reached the fourth story in 1178, Pisa became embroiled in wars with neighboring city-states like Florence and Genoa. These prolonged conflicts forced the project to halt for nearly 100 years. Ironically, this delay proved to be a blessing in disguise. It allowed the soil beneath the tower to settle and stabilize. Had the construction continued without pause, the added weight might have caused the tower to collapse entirely. This is a prime example of how time sometimes becomes humanity's unexpected ally in rectifying mistakes. In 1272, construction resumed under the direction of architect Giovanni di Simone. Aware of the southward tilt, he proposed an ambitious yet risky solution, building higher floors on the northern side to counterbalance the lean. Though creative, this approach ignored a critical principle. Adding weight to an unstable structure does not reduce its tilt. It increases pressure on the already weak foundation. Predictably, the lean worsened, tilting the tower even further. When the seventh level and the bell chamber were completed in 1372, the tower leaned approximately 1.6 degrees. This alarming tilt became a persistent problem for architects and engineers for centuries. Despite numerous attempts to fix it, many efforts backfired, exacerbating the lean. In 1838, architect Alessandro della Gerardesca made an ill-fated attempt to improve the site's appeal to tourists by excavating a walkway around the base to expose the column foundations. However, removing the supporting sand layer destabilized the foundation further, intensifying the lean. This was a stark lesson that interfering with a building's foundation without understanding the geology could lead to disastrous consequences. In 1935, the Italian government experimented with injecting cement grout into the foundation to strengthen it. Unfortunately, the uneven flow of grout increased localized pressure on the foundation, worsening the situation instead of solving it. 
By this point, the tilt was accelerating dangerously, surpassing acceptable safety thresholds. The recurring failures stemmed from a fundamental lack of understanding of the soil beneath the tower. Pisa's ground primarily consists of soft clay and sand, which cannot adequately support a large structure like the Bell Tower. Early engineers underestimated how this weak soil would behave under substantial weight. Later attempts at repair, though well-intentioned, were limited by the scientific knowledge and technology of their time. After World War II, scientists and engineers began applying modern techniques to address the Pisa Tower's lean. Moving beyond direct fixes, they embraced scientific research, treating the problem like a forensic investigation. They meticulously analyzed the tower's foundation, gathering data on its geology, structure, and weight distribution. These studies gradually uncovered the mysteries of the unstable soil that had been ignored for centuries. A major breakthrough came in the 1970s with the introduction of computer technology to architectural and structural research. For the first time, engineers could simulate the tower's structure and the behavior of the soil beneath it. This enabled them to accurately map how the massive weight of the tower was distributed across the unstable foundation, pinpointing the tower's center of gravity, a critical factor in maintaining its balance, paved the way for new solutions to prevent collapse. Simultaneously, researchers measured soil stiffness at various points around the tower, they found that the foundation was highly inconsistent, with some areas much weaker than others. Using computer simulations, they predicted how the lean would progress and identified specific sections where removing soil could relieve pressure on the weakest parts of the foundation. This shift from trial and error methods to precise, data-driven interventions marked a turning point in the effort to preserve the leaning tower of Pisa. In the early 1990s, the Leaning Tower of Pisa faced an imminent threat of collapse. With its tilt surpassing safety thresholds, experts realized that decisive action was necessary to save this architectural wonder from being lost forever. In 1992, an ambitious rescue plan was launched, marking a pivotal moment in the tower's preservation. This effort was not only a technical project, but also a testament to the synergy of scientific theory, modern technology, and human ingenuity. The first step was to alleviate pressure on the unstable foundation by carefully removing approximately 1,342 cubic feet, or about 38 cubic meters, of soil from the northern side of the tower. Engineers used overlapping small tunnels beneath the tower in a controlled excavation process designed to reduce stress on the subsiding soil without causing instability. This intricate operation required meticulous calculations and collaboration between geotechnical and structural experts. Thanks to this bold move, the tower's tilt was safely and methodically reduced, paving the way for additional measures to ensure long-term stability. Following the soil removal, engineers focused on balancing the structure by placing approximately 600 tons of lead counterweights at the tower's northern base. These massive weights acted as a stabilizing force, preventing the tower from tilting further and providing stability during subsequent adjustments. This groundbreaking solution showcased the innovative application of physics principles to address a real-world challenge. In addition, sturdy steel cables were used to anchor the tower to its foundation, preventing any potential shifts in the future. These cables not only served as a precautionary measure, but also played a vital role in ensuring that all subsequent adjustments would be effective in the long run. The success of this project lay not only in halting the tower's tilt, but also in reducing it to a safe angle, significantly extending the lifespan of the structure by hundreds of years. This achievement highlighted remarkable advancements in technology and engineering, while serving as an example of how humanity can tackle seemingly insurmountable challenges. The rescue of the Leaning Tower of Pisa in 1992 remains one of the most celebrated success stories in the history of heritage preservation. Beyond safeguarding a cultural icon, the project inspired similar efforts around the world.
It proved that with intellect and determination, humans can achieve the extraordinary even when faced with the greatest obstacles. From a structural mistake, the Leaning Tower of Pisa has become a testament to creativity and the ability to push the boundaries of human potential. More than six centuries after construction began, the Leaning Tower of Pisa has survived numerous trials and finally stabilized at an angle of approximately 3.97 degrees. Successfully mitigating the risk of collapse has not only preserved a unique architectural masterpiece, but also reinforced Forced the tower's status as a symbol of perseverance and resilience. The Leaning Tower of Pisa may not be perfect, but its imperfections have become its greatest allure, transforming it into a living example of how mistakes can evolve into marvels through relentless pursuit of solutions. Beyond its architectural significance, the Leaning Tower of Pisa attracts millions of visitors every year. Its distinctive tilt offers not only a glimpse into history, but also a canvas for creative photography. Visitors often pose in humorous ways, holding up, pushing, or even toppling the tower in iconic snapshots. This playful tradition has cemented the tower's place as a symbol of joy and imagination. Surrounding the tower, the Piazza dei Miracoli, Square of Miracles, offers a rich cultural journey with landmarks such as the Pisa Cathedral, the Baptistery, and the Campo Santo Cemetery. Each of these Romanesque masterpieces reflects the prosperity and artistic brilliance of the medieval era. Together, they make a visit to Pisa an unforgettable experience of culture, art, and history. Predicted to remain standing for at least another 300 years, the Leaning Tower of Pisa exemplifies human creativity and resilience in the face of adversity. If you were standing before the Leaning Tower of Pisa, what would you do to leave your mark? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Lastly, do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss an exciting video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.